It's personal between me you, and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. Okay. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, I wanted to talk about uh, something very interesting, you know. It's been a long time, you know, he's kind of been aloof. He's kind of been, like, not in the limelight ever since uh, the great fight he had last year where he came up short. But uh, Deontay Wilder, the bronze bomber himself, is back. And he's back in training, and he was recently pictured in the gym uh, training with uh, none other than the bounty hunter himself, Michael Hunter. Uh, so he's back in the gym now. Uh, he looks noticeably uh, leaner, a lot more leaner than he did in the third Fury fight because, uh, you, as you guys may know, he put on a bunch of muscle and a bunch of muscle mass for that fight, which, you know, it, it produced a great fight. I mean, he got two knockdowns and damn near beat him. Damn near came close to beating him again, but... Uh, just ran out of stamina, ran, ran out of gas very, very late. So it looks like Deontay Wilder is going to still be here and he's not going to hang him up. So uh, that's always good news for the heavyweight division because, you know, the, the heavyweight division is better with Deontay Wilder than without, in, in my opinion. You know, he bring, he, as, as he says himself, you know, he brings the excitement to the heavyweight division. You can't dispute that. Whether he fought Fury or, or Malik Scott or Stavern or whoever he fought, Luis Ortiz, you know that when Deontay Wilder fights, because he's so unorthodox, because of his explosiveness, because of that that bone crushing punching power, you know he's always going to be in the fight. And a guy could outbox him nine rounds straight, and he'll, he'll never be out of a fight. You know, and, and, and I think he should have earned the respect of everybody after after that third fight with the way he showed his willingness to carry on uh, after taking such a beating. So um, he took a lot of punishment. You know, I, I have my I have my uh, questions about his punch resistance and what it would be like if he did come back. But I, I do think we should expect to return. Now, if Wilder does return, who are some of the opponents that we, we, we should expect to see Wilder in there with? You know, who, who could he fight next? Now, um, I really see it. I, I, there's one guy in particular that I, that I think is going to be the opponent for Wilder. There's one guy that I think will definitely be the opponent for Wilder uh, if, he, if, if he returns next. But that could change if, if an outcome to another, another fight happens. So uh, the, 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 the guy that we keep hearing is Robert Hellenius. And may, may, maybe that fight can happen because Hellenius is a, is a solid welterweight, or not welterweight, a so, solid heavyweight. And they have history. They've sparred with each other. They know each other. So it could happen. You know, it could definitely happen. And I wouldn't be surprised if Hellenius winds up fighting Wilder. But personally, I think the guy they're going to look at is none other than the, the, Tur the, the Turkish heavyweight, Ali Demarizian. You know, Ali Demarizian, he just uh, recently fought um, Adam Kaunaki. And PBC was trying to make Wilder versus Adam Kanaki. I, I always thought they were trying to build him up as an opponent for Wilder, but then he just kept losing. He just kept losing fights. So uh, they, they brought him back. They, they gave him another opportunity to build himself back up and get a win against Demarazian. He failed to do it. Demarazian beat him. And Demarazian, what? Uh, he beat, I think it was Gerald Washington, uh, Gerald Washington earlier this year. So he beat a, a guy that Wilder fought. He's beat a Wilder opponent in uh, Gerald Washington. He, he's now beating Adam Kaunaki. He's on a good run of form. And I think um, that would be the ideal uh, fight coming back for him. A guy that's not a, a big heavyweight. A guy that's uh, uh, physically strong and can punch a little bit, but not necessarily like, like, like a... He doesn't punch like Tyson Fury. He doesn't punch like a lot of guys in the heavyweight division. So that's, that really is who I think he'll fight next if he decides to come back, if it's not Hellenius. Ali Demarizian. Remember, I told you that. If not him, if not Ali Demarizian, then um, if Andy Ruiz, right? Because there's that big fight coming up in September between uh, Andy Ruiz and uh, Luis Ortiz. If Andy Ruiz is able to get by Luis Ortiz, who just defeated a former world champion in Charles Martin in his last fight, um, then I'm thinking that Luis Ortiz, not uh, Andy Ruiz, and Deontay Wilder will, will fight. And I think that'd be a big fight because, you know, you're talking about Andy Ruiz, a Mexican-American who beat Anthony Joshua, who was unified champion, who has a, a, a good fan base, can sell tickets. I think if you pair those two together for a promotion as an event, it's going to do uh, uh, it's going to do like good numbers. It's going to do good money. And ultimately, these are the things that drive why fights do and don't happen in boxing, you know. So and I, I like the fight, too, I think. I'm not really sure what to expect to Andy Ruiz moving forward because he's been kind of weird. Like, personally, I, I think we've already seen the best Andy Ruiz. I don't, I don't think he'll ever fight better than he did 
uh, in the Joseph Parker or Anthony Joshua uh, first fight because that was Andy Reese who was in a place of desperation. You know, not a lot of things were happening for his career. Uh, you know, he wasn't making the kind of money that he needed to make to 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 you know make a living and and, and be comfortable. Now he's comfortable. We've seen when he get we we already saw in the Joshua rematch when Andy Reese is comfortable as far as his life is concerned. He doesn't have that same dedication. So I I, I already think we, we we've seen the best of him. But that that would still be a a, a really good fight. And with the amount of punishment Wilder took in the third Fury fight and the second Fury fight, you just, you have to question, until we see him in the ring again, you have to question just where the hell his punch resistance is. Because he's also kind of tall. He's kind of tall. You know, he's, he is tall. He's tall and he's lanky. So maybe he might start to develop that tall man syndrome later on in his career to where, you know, he can't really take the punishment no more, you know? And, and that can make for winnable fight for Andy Reese if he can get to that fight, you know, but he's got, he's got to be a very, you know, credible heavyweight in Luis Ortiz, you know, another Wilder opponent. So uh, that's the news. Deontay Wilder is back in the gym. It looks like he's gearing up for a 2022 return and he's going to try to make some more noise in this heavyweight division. So uh, we'll see what happens. I personally think it's going to be either Hellenius, Ali Demarizian, or Andy Reese if he beats um, Luis Ortiz. Um, that's what I think. But you guys let me know what you think in the comments down below. Uh, are you excited about Wilder's return? And if he comes back, who do you see his first opponent being? And let me know why as well. Now, uh, yeah, make sure you guys subscribe because we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers. And I know with your guys' help, we'll get there. And uh, like I say in every single video, really, all of them, you know, go, go, all the way back, go all the way back in my archives. You'll see that I've always said this, you know, you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm just a kid from Dania. So until next time, take care, guys. Thank you for watching True School Sports. No, follow this kid. Oh. You know, he's a true, uh, you know, he's a young, true, uh, passionate uh, uh, person who follows boxing. He, 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 he wakes up thinking about boxing and he goes to sleep thinking about boxing. This is, so, this is true. This is a good true. kid, good man, and looking forward to seeing him. Uh, everywhere yeah. in the boxing world. Hey man, if you ain't subscribed to True School Sports, you're fucking up, man. Make sure you subscribe, bro. Fucking up big time. Make sure, man. <laughs>